Now to the latest on the New Mexico wildfires. The mayor has confirmed that 29 people are still missing. Search and rescue crews in Ruidoso are actively looking for human remains. Now the wildfires have burned over 25,000 acres of Ruidoso, Ruidoso Downs, and Mescalero tribal land. Now the South Fork fire west of Ruidoso has burned more than 17,500 acres and is at 54% contained. The salt fire is burning south of Ruidoso and has burned more than 7,900 acres and is at 38% contained. We have learned that more residents are being allowed back into the village today and two people have been confirmed dead from the wildfires. The FBI is offering a $10,000 reward for anyone with information of who started the wildfires. Anyone with information is asked to call the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI, the number on your screen, or online at tips.fbi.gov. And with full-time residents being allowed back into the village of Ruidoso, even as the wildfires continue in the mountainous, the mountains, I should say, nearby, businesses are welcoming patrons back. And ABC 7's Paul Sicala has been reporting from the wildfires in Ruidoso since Thursday, and he joins us now from the heart of the village. He reports from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. Just imagine how difficult it's been for businesses in Ruidoso to have gone an entire week without customers. And it goes beyond many of the hotel chains. A lot of specialty shops like this one right here have also gone a week without customers. And down the line, who knows, there may be less and less because of these fires. And of course, places like this are very popular to El Pasoans. <laughs> Michael Free, owner of Free Designs, has been spending the last week cutting and finishing off his artistic wood-carved bears and other tourist items. With no business coming his way because of the wildfires, it's the least he can do. This is our busiest season right here. June, July, and August is our, is our busiest season. So you never know what you're going to make. Every day is different. Free estimates he's lost thousands of dollars so far with the lack of business and fears people will be afraid to return. And tourism in the coming months will also suffer. Before the fire, I made $3,000 in a week. I mean, I, it's good money. Yeah. It was. <laughs> was a term reflecting some of the down demeanors displayed with morale low for business and homeowners because of the fires. How much does your heart pour out to other business owners as well that have been affected by these wildfires? It's it's horrible, man. It's hor I mean, I don't know what. There's going to be a lot of people close. They're all in trouble. We're all in trouble right now. It's going to come back, but it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long, long time. Long time just to get back to earning the bare essentials for businesses like this to survive. Michael Free tells me, believe it or not, he remained open all of last week, even during the wildfires. He was hoping that somehow, some way, some customers might show up, even if it's some first responders that wanted to buy some of his goods. That said, not one person ended up buying anything that particular week. Now, coming up on ABC 7 at 5 p.m., we'll continue our in-depth coverage from right here in Ruidoso, and we'll talk to an El Paso native who owns a local brewery and how he and his partner continue suffering because of those wildfires. Reporting from Ruidoso, Paul Sicala, ABC 7.